Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle. Welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time, we completed 100% Shifting Sandland and Dire Dire Docks. And now, we've cleared everything downstairs, so let's go upstairs and start cleaning up up here. Now, I can't remember which way I need to go for a specific level. It's not this way. Ah, <sighs> okay. I need to go to the opposite side of up here. And we're going to get started up here with Snowman's Land. I don't know how long this is going to take to do because uh, I can't remember what I've done here already and what's left. But it shouldn't be too bad. Well, from the freezing pond. This one's fairly simple. So, let's just go across here if I can. Over to the freezing pond. Also, just quickly, I want to show that this ice over here is like lava. Oh, this actually this ice here is actually just ice. Oh, so this here is just fine to walk across, but over here is lava because it needs to have lava for the bully to act like a bully. Anyway, gonna go grab go, 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 I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. Gonna grab some coins, and let's go over here. So there are these things here that make you whirl, and this is a freezing pond. So let's whirl across to here, and what does this sign say? Quickly. Please. Hop on the shiny shell and ride wherever you want to. Go. Shred those enemies. Those enemies. Well, if we hit this box, we get a shell. Which is how it was originally designed with these boxes. But also there's this box here. Which just has a star in it for us. Very nice. Oh, look at Mario's face. He's very happy with that as well. Anyway, let's head back in. Shell shredding for eight red for red coins. That's, I wonder what that could possibly be referring to in this level. Well, you know, we did just find a shell and there are red coins over there. Ish. Oh, get out of the water. Ow. Anyway, let's try to jump on one of those. Those are hard to jump on top of. Also, if you des destroy both of them, you can't really get up here, I don't think. Although there is a probably one other way that I can think of to get up here. But anyway, now that that's done, let's go grab as many of these red coins as possible. You really don't want to lose the shell, though, because two of these red coins are in the ice lava. There we go. Fairly simple, let's go up to the last one. Now we just need to head back to the start of the level. We should be fairly simple. And let's grab ourselves a star. And what's next? I actually think I know what's next, if I remember correctly. Into the igloo. So, before we do that though, I think I'm going to try and get as many coins as possible. Because we need... Oh, 100 coins as well. Since this is the last star, we're running out of opportunities. Oh please, let me get you. Those things are so annoying once I actually get moving. And they spread their coins all over the place. Oh, coin, come back. Coin. There we go. Oh no, that coin disappeared. Great. I'm sad now. I wonder if you could well across from these... Uh... These things. Because over there, across this wall, is where the, uh... The shell is normally. Okay, get rid of you. Cool, literally. And let's keep collecting these coins because it's going to take us a little while to get what we need. Can't remember how many we need before going to the igloo. Because the igloo is like the pyramid and the volcano, except you can actually leave it, so. But I probably want to get as many coins beforehand anyway, since that's where the star is. Oh, I'm over here now. I'm not going to get the other snowman over here. I think it's on a weird spot for me to get it. No, I might be able to get him. Just to just have to spin around him. Here we go, and then give me your coins. 
Oh my goodness, they're going everywhere again. There we go. they're reusing the same objects as well. I don't know why I didn't read these signs last time. I, I, I was trying to read as many signs as possible going through this, but I apparently just walked past them by instinct. Snowman Mountain ahead, keep out, and don't try to trip the triple jump over the ice block shooter. Oh, the ice block shooter. If you fall into the freezing pond, your power decreases quickly. And you won't recover automatically. The sign of the snowman. Okay, snowman. Whatever you say. I'm surprised you're the one saying it when the other person saying things was the penguin. Anyway, let me try to get this snowman who's trying to throw snowballs at me. Grab all those. We haven't got many coins so far, but I guess that's just how it is. There's a lot of coins. Oh my goodness. There's actually a fair bit of coins at the igloo once we actually get there. But for now, we're stuck just cleaning up everything else here. One up, one up, one up, one up, one up, I need you. Where do you go? There. Oh, one up, I need you for my personal goals. Okay. Just gonna get you. Didn't mean to dive, but that works. Okay. Now let's go get those eight red coins. And then, I think, that's pretty much all the coins we want to grab in this area, probably. I don't think I'm gonna grab the coins that are in the freezing pond from those enemies there. Just doesn't seem worth it. So, let's do this. I can also get the snowman that spawns up here as well. If I move slow enough around him. Slow enough to not accidentally break my shell on him. Because that's the kind of the risk with this particular snowman is, oh, I don't think I, Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh my goodness, I'm going so fast, I'm going so fast, I'm going so fast, I'm going so fast, I'm going so fast. Help. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna hit it. Please, thank you. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, don't hit the snowman. Let's get these red coins over here. Oh my goodness. There we go. And now we're gonna take the shell with us. A little bit more. Oh, don't break the shell. <laughs> don't break the shell. Because over by the freezing pond over here is a little slope here with coins. And we can kind of make our way up if we keep jumping on the shell here. And up here is the igloo. So, let's go in, which we're too tall to go in by just walking in. But we can luckily just crawl in. You can exit through the door again. And yeah, this is another area here. We can see the star already, but we can also see billions of coins just all over the place. Unfortunately though, they're inside of the ice. Just frozen in the ice. Same with the star actually. So what we're actually gonna need to do is do something else. Now you have to be careful with this though. So, over here, in this back corner, is a Vanish Cat box. So, if we backflip or jump over this ice, and get to the block. Oh, come on, game. Grab that, and now we can go through the ice, allowing us to collect some more coins. But be very careful, because there is a place in this, uh, um, this igloo where you can get stuck in, and if you don't have the Vanish Cat, when you're stuck inside of it, you can't get out. 
So I'm going to grab this 100 coin star straight away so I don't accidentally miss that. Let me go back to the box so I can get another cap to try and do what I need to do with it. Okay, so let's go this way. Quick, 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 quick. There are some boxes over here, but more importantly, there is a pink bomb who's going to open the cannon at the beginning of the level. What are in the boxes? Some coins. I want a one up, but I don't need them. So yeah, if you get stuck in that room, you get the one up and the coins and the bomb. -bom. But if you're quick enough, you can actually get them and get out. The cannon in this level isn't extremely helpful, but if you do it out of order, you can use the, the uh, cannon to just shoot straight to the start on top of the snowman, which is very useful if you want to not have to worry about that bridge thing. Anyway, if we quickly have a fight with a camera, we can actually jump up here and grab the star. You can't jump from straight underneath it, you need to be moving while you're jumping through the ice. But there we go, and I think that's all of the stars in that level done. Yes it is. Next up, Wet Dry World. Which is what I, was, what I normally do first. Since it's right in front of you whenever you get up the stairs. So let's go do that. Secrets in the Shallows and Sky. Well, for the star, we're actually going to need to lower the water level pretty much all the way down to start off. Because we need to go to five different locations in the level. Which is funny because one of them, or two of them, are in the same place. And then we'll get a star from it. So, starting off, there's one there we, which we can push that block in for. And I believe if we push this block over this way, if the camera would be nice, we get another one from there. But also, I mentioned that there were two in one place, pretty much. There's a block up here, and if we break it, we get another one. This is just a random box here we can break from underneath. Now, without the water level up all the way, we can actually use these... Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, we can use these... Uh, machines to actually fling ourselves up. Except they stun you for a little bit after you've, they've thrown you. Which can be very annoying. If they keep flinging you. Okay, let me try to get you to fling me up. Thank you. Nope. Bad, 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 bad. I need to go. <laughs> I need to go. My people need me. Oh, fire. Give me coins, give me coins, give me coins, give me coins, give me the coins, give me the coins, give me the coins. There's also a blue coin switch put here that we don't really need since we're not doing 100 coins yet, but we can also just do it for health and also just grab coins, I guess. I don't actually think we need to keep the water level all the way down at this point though, so we can also go raise the water level. So I'm going to do that to make it easier to get up because using those uh, machines, robot things to get you up there is just not simple. It's just not the easiest way to get up. It's it's just wasting your time, basically. So anyway, instead, let's go up this ramp here, which is conveniently fairly low to get up. And now, over here, there's a sign. I'm guessing it's going to tell me about the secrets. Nope, the mystery is of wet and or dry. And where does the solution lie? The city welcomes visitors with the depth they bring as they enter. Okay, let's just talk about the the water level changing depending on what height you enter the level painting. Anyway, this block here was a, a secret as well. Now I believe this is just a box of, with uh, coins that I'm pretty sure. Let me just push that a little bit closer. Yeah, that's just a box of coins in it. And the actual last secret we need to get is... Am I crazy? No. If we press that switch and then go up here, we can see a star. Oh, I fell down. Can I get up before the timer runs out? No, if I break a block. Oh my goodness, and then just struggle. Okay, let me try that again. This time with a little bit more skill, maybe. 
mostly just precision and not actually just going too fast. There's another block up here. And that is the last secret. So there we go. Let's just head down to the star now. Oh, I missed. That's okay. <laughs> You're probably not supposed to uh, long jump from up there straight to where you need to get the star. Anyway, let's just hop up here and there's also a box here which I believe is just coins. Only a few coins. Let's grab the star. There we go. I hope I didn't lower the water level too much. Although it probably doesn't matter for this one. Express elevator, hurry up. So, for this one, we are actually going to want to actually have the water level all the way down. Unfortunately. We actually need it to be all the way down. Also, we can just heal ourselves in this level most of the time. So, we want to break this box to start off. Very important. And let's try to get up using these robots. And hopefully not fail too much. Try to get them closer to the wall so I get up properly. Oh no, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good! Okay, get up, Mario, get up, Mario, Mario, get up, Mario, Mario. Okay, come close to the wall. You probably want to lure them close to the wall so you actually know And then, yeah, it's just going to take us to the star. There we go. The elevator will go up uh, without you if you don't hurry up, so you will need to get it quickly, and then you have to go up again if you miss, so... Let's head back in. Go to town for red coins, also probably a hundred coins while we're here. Now I think I'm going to have to lower the water level again. Ow! Oh my goodness, I took no damage because of the water killing me. I love that. You just get hit by an enemy and you don't take no damage because it instantly heals you again. Anyway, we need to get 100 coins, so let's get started on that. And then we're going to go to town for 8 red coins. We haven't seen any 8 red coins. So we're going to have to figure out what that means. Also, the secrets have a lot of... Um... A lot of coins for you to get, since a lot of them are in the boxes. Okay. Also, the purple bob on that throws you also has a fair bit of coins when it is defeated. So we're probably going to want to get that at the top of the level. I believe like half of these boxes have coins in them. Three. Three. Maybe all of them? Three. Three! They actually all have coins in them. Cool, that's good. The one for the elevator doesn't have coins in it. Just break that open. Break it open? I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a it's a spider thing. I believe they're called water skitters, I think. I think that's their official name. Um let's raise the water level. Oh, careful. Very careful. Very careful. There's a lot of coins in, in like... Like, there's, there's like, coins in little bunches. All spread out throughout, throughout the level. Which is nice, I guess. Okay. Probably want to go on top of this to raise the water level and also get the coins that are up there. You can also just grab the coins um, while the water is up as well, but I guess, but still. I needed the water level to be low so I could break boxes. Okay. We're in a pretty good 
position now to get the rest of the hundred coins. Gonna get all these around here, avoiding that robot thing. Also, be careful not to push this block all the way into the wall because otherwise you won't be able to use it again. And you do kind of need it to get up most of the time, unless the water level is higher, but the water level only gets higher when you do the switch, which is up there. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just head up here. I'm not going to raise the water level though, because I need to be able to also, uh, I need to also get to the coins on top of the elevator star. There we go. Very nice. Let's see if I can get this pink bob -omb, purple bob -omb. I'm not, I know what color this is. It's, it's, it's green. <sighs> Grab that. Cool. That's actually pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's all the coins up here. And most of the coins in the level have been collected now. I'm surprised I actually have 87 at this point, actually. I was expecting to have a lot less than this. I guess there's just a lot in this level. Let's grab these. Oh, very nice. I only need three more. Oh, there's another box as well. Amazing. Actually amazing. Oh, I'm not going to be... I hope I can still grab that because it's in... It's pretty high up. Oh dear. Can I backflip into it? Yes, I can. And I'm on top of the sign. Take that, sign. Okay, so, next up, we probably want to raise the water level, because we need to find the eight ridge coins. Oh, careful, 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 careful. And up we go. Raise the water level. I'm pretty sure that's as high as it goes. So now, let's go over here, because we can see a little platform up there. And I believe if I can f get up there, which might be a bit difficult because it needs to be a little bit higher, I think. Oh, so this camera angle is not great. This camera angle is not great. Hopefully I'm not forgetting a higher point that I can raise the water to. I'm pretty sure you can actually get it higher if you triple jump into the painting. Which is unfortunate, but anyway, there we go. We managed to triple jump our way up here. Anyway, there's a pink bomb up here which opens a cannon for us. Ready for blast off. Okay, and now what we want to do is go over here and aim a little bit. We can see that little cage in the back there. That's that's what we want to aim for. So there's also those one ups in that pipe thing, but I don't think we, I don't think those are actually necessary ever. So let's just go like that. And hopefully land over there. Oh, actually, that was a pretty good shot. Surprisingly. And I'm pretty sure this is the point of no return on the level. I think. Although I think you actually can get back if the water's a little bit higher. We need to go down this tunnel here. And quickly, because we're going to run out of air. Okay. Let's get to some air. So we've made it to a new area over here. Which is probably bad. Yeah, I don't know what that does. <laughs> and I'm concerned. I wonder if it... Oh, I wonder if you meant to use the metal cap to hit that and then... Do something else? Am I crazy? I might just be crazy. I don't know what the switch is doing. Oh, 
What is it doing? Does it do something over here? Oh, it does. It puts a block over there that we don't actually need. <laughs> okay, then. That's very interesting. I'm, gu I'm guessing you're supposed to be collecting the caps kind of thing with that. Anyway, let me grab this one up here since it's just a free one up. There's also trees here. That's interesting. That they've been underwater for a long time. Where'd the one up go? It's just gone. Okay, then. I don't think trees would do well if they're just underwater for a long amount of time. But now, what we actually want to do is probably use this these trees here to get on top of the roofs of these houses. I really like this underground, underwater city thing. Anyway, on top of some of these rooftops are coins and also red coins, so we're going to need to do that and collect all eight red coins. There's also a few other places to get red coins, like these blocks in the middle. And I believe if we want to actually head back to the top of the area and then possibly use that as a way to escape by raising the water level, we can actually go up here if I'm not bad at climbing up this roof. Oh my goodness, I am bad at this. Here, let me... Okay, that didn't work. Hang on. Let me try triple jumping up there. I know you can get up there. Because there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a pole up here. Oh, come on. Oh, grab the pole, grab the pole. Actually grab the pole. There we go. You can actually make it up here, and then go across this small bridge here. Oh, how did I get both the water skitters up here? You can raise the water level and you can get the metal cap back, if you need that at all. But we don't, so let's head back down. So now what we want to do, is we want to go probably over here, and then we want to wall jump between the wall and the house building thing. Oh my goodness, please. While jumping is a little bit difficult, if you don't get the timing right, you will fall to your death. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe, uh, the, um, maybe rise, raising the water level is good for, um, healing, basically. I think that one up just disappears if it goes. No, it doesn't. It just disappears very quickly. Okay. Anyway, I still need to get on top of some of these rooftops. So. I guess another way we can do it is actually go into the middle of these two houses and then wall jump between them like that. Let's grab that one there. And now we need to look at the other direction. And if we can make it across with a jump, we don't have to wall jump between them again. And let's grab that red coin right there. Okay. Only a few more left. Oh, I didn't mean to ground pound. I was trying to long jump, but I was off the edge when... building. Now I think either you triple jump and then triple jump over to that white building from the grey building. Otherwise I think you could probably do a jump off of this tree here if I can get back onto it. Oh this is not a great camera angle. Please. Please camera. Okay and I think if I uh, actually can I just go up there from here? I can. Okay, cool. That's the... Don't wall jump off the wall. Just... 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 Ah, uh, forward flip off the tree up to here. That's a lot easier. Anyway. Let's go ahead and grab the star now. And we're doing pretty well on this level now. 
We're also doing pretty well for stars overall since we have 99. There we go. And actually, I think I want to actually... Yeah, I'm gonna, I want to quickly go back out of the level because I'm not happy with what I just did. Which means I'm going to be right back downstairs again, but... That's okay. Every time you exit out of a level it, like that, it always puts you back in the front room. Okay, so... Instead of what I just did, I want to line up my camera angle a lot better than that. And I'm going to try a triple jump into the painting. Okay, that was terrible. That nearly ended really badly as well. Oh my goodness, camera, please. I'm begging you. Okay, here we go. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Oh, hold on. This shouldn't be this hard, but apparently I'm having a lot of trouble with it. Oh, come on. That was perfect. That was perfect. Until it wasn't. There we go. Enter the painting at the top area. Quick race through downtown. And the water level is higher than ever. This makes it a lot easier to get to the pink bubble arm because the platform is higher. And also means that if we swim over to this little cage over here, we can just pop up. Which means we can skip the cannon completely. So they really expect you to use the triple jump into the painting to raise the water level even higher than ever. But anyway. So now, going back into the underwater town, which is just so cool. Let's hit that switch there. And let's head over this way. To this vanish cap box. So, where we need to go is on the opposite side of the level of this town. Uh, we can actually go through the, some of these brick walls. <laughs> with the Vanish Cap, and we can also go through this cage here. Once you're through the cage though, you probably want to wait for the Vanish Cap to wear off so you don't accidentally go through it again. The camera's going to be annoying. I can already tell. But now, what we want to do is either press the switch to make the block appear, which is a lot more work in my opinion, or we can just wall jump up. That just seems like a way better option than using the block. I guess you could make the block appear and then backflip up, which makes it a little bit easier. But once you just climb up here, there's the last star in this level. Here we go. Wall jumping just seems a lot easier for me. Rather than dealing with a block that has a time limit on it. So there we go. Wet Dry World is complete. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.